we're about to show you how to add captions to videos and how to create videos like these for Instagram, Facebook, or anywhere else you might wanna use them. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. So first up, if you're wondering how to make videos like these with the subtitles baked into the video itself, you're definitely not alone. It's probably the number one question that we're getting right now. And for good reason. While it may look simple, it's not as easy as just adding text to videos. In fact, I've seen people spend hours manually adding the subtitles in word by word, typing them into their videos. But I'm way too impatient for that, and that's not how we do things at Primal Video. So there are a few easier options that we're gonna run through now, and I'm gonna start off with the one that takes the most amount of work, but is the cheapest and the most accessible. From there, we're gonna progress through to the done for you options for all of you that wanna go completely hands off. There's also a few apps that we're gonna mention in there as well. And while we're going through, let me know in the comments, what's your number one app or tip for creating awesome Instagram content? I'm keen to know. Okay, so for the first method, the first thing you need to do is get your transcription sorted or the text version of what it is you're saying in your videos. You could sit there and type it out word for word, but there are some better options. You can get a rough version by uploading your video to YouTube, waiting for the auto-generated captions to complete, and then you can make any edits or changes manually, and then you can export your SRT file or your subtitles file then save it onto your computer. Your next option is to use a service like Rev, which gives you much more accuracy and a super fast turnaround. It's a dollar per minute of footage and the results are great and it's completely hands off. We use this option for all of our caption videos, including YouTube subtitles. Now, if you're interested in trying them out, we do have an affiliate link on screen and below in the description that does currently give you a discount on your first order. Okay, so I'm here in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can follow a similar process in Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve and other editing software as well. But what you want to do is import your video file and your subtitles file. So in our case here, we're importing one of our YouTube videos. So you can see up here, this is one of our YouTube videos. Now for this example, I'm going to show you how to make a square video with the captions on the bottom. So we're going to go to File, New, Sequence. So just choose Digital SLR, 1080p, and I've shot this video 25 frames per second, so we're gonna leave it at that. Let's go to settings to customize this up, and we wanna make it 1080 by 1080. So we're going a square project. Grab our video, drop it down into our timeline. We wanna keep our existing settings, and you can see it's way too big, so we're gonna shrink that down, select our clip, come up here. I'm actually gonna change our layout to editing come up here to motion and let's scale this down. You can see that when we're scaling our widescreen video down into a square project, it's actually creating those bars on the top and bottom for us. Now to add text on the top, you could just come along here, grab our title tool, come up here and add in our video title. Obviously you can make this look a little bit better than that. You would probably change the fonts and everything. Let's go Oswald Bold. And let's just adjust the position here so it is close to center. Okay, so there's our top title for our video. You wanna stretch that out so it's the length of the entire video. Uh, now for our actual subtitles down the bottom here. So we wanna grab our subtitles here and drag them onto our project. And you can see that they're on here. They're not looking fantastic yet, but you can see that we've got our text in there and it is already linked up and in line with what I'm saying in the videos. So we'll press plus on the keyboard to zoom in. You will want to enable the captions window. If you're not seeing that here or captions panel, you want to come up here to windows and select captions and come across to that. So with this clip here selected, we can then see all of our captions in here. Now something that Rev does is it leaves this little dash or little hyphen at the start of every sentence. You can see it there. So you do want to go through and just remove those wherever you see them on there. We can just edit the text here and you can see it's updated in real time on the screen there. Now the trick here to customize all of these titles up and to make them all look the same is to right click on the first one, choose select all. Now any adjustments you make here to the font, to the size are gonna be applied to all of the titles there. So we'll make the font a little bit bigger. Let's go a bit more. The next setting I'd suggest that you change is on this little grid here is to pick the middle one. 
so that your text is actually positioned in the middle of that box. Now we're gonna reposition it down the bottom, obviously, but it just means when you've got the difference between a one line and a multiple line, that they are still in the same midpoint. If we had it left on the bottom, then it's lining up all your text to the bottom line instead of in the middle of that box. So we wanna go to the middle of the box, and then with this layer selected, you wanna come up to the top here and change the position of that layer. So we can drop this down here, and you can see that we're already getting close to having our text in there on the screen. So you can see that's an easy way to get your text in with just a black background because I already had the black background on there. But if I do slide that back up now so we can see it, you can actually remove that black background here. So we can change the background color behind our text by coming over here to background color. And you've got here set to black. We can change that to any color. So say a maroon there, you can see that to match, or we can pick our color here to match whatever our background is, or we can actually drop the opacity here to zero and it has removed the background altogether. So now we move this back down. If we do change the color from black in the background there, then it's going to show our text without the background behind the text. One thing you will wanna do here is to scrub through and make sure that all of your text fits. And so you can see this one here isn't, you can see it's cut off at this point. So I wanna select this title and then we can come in here and we can do a line break at that point and it's updated in real time there on the screen. So you wanna go through quickly and just make sure that all of your titles are actually fitting on the screen here. Now, if this is something that you're gonna do a lot of, then you can come down here and customize up your import settings to reflect these settings so that every time you import your SRT or your subtitle files, that they are going to apply these for you. The last thing you'll need to know to be able to save this out is when you choose export and choose media, you will need to make sure that captions are enabled for your export. So you go through, set up your export settings as you normally would, come over here to captions, and you will wanna make sure that it does say burn captions into video. If that's not on, then even if you're seeing them in the preview here inside of Premiere, it's not going to save them out. Then just hit export and your video is saved out with those subtitles on there. The next option you have is creating your titles on the fly using apps on your smartphone. There's a few different apps I'm gonna run through here for both iOS and Android, and I'm also gonna give you the pros and cons of each before we jump into the next two options. The first app is the most basic one, and it's for iOS only, and is made by Apple themselves, and it's called Clips. So when you open the app, you just wanna hit the captions button on the left, go through and select your template of what you'd like your captions to look like. So we'll go and pick one of these ones here and it gives you a little example of what that's gonna look like. You can also press the globe to select your language. So in this case, we've got English Australia, let's go done. Hit the X to go back out of that. Make sure you've got camera selected and then press and hold the record button to record your video. And you can see that while you're talking, it's automatically transcribing what you're saying and creating the titles for you. Now, if you do need to make any changes to the text, you can go in and edit those titles. But the biggest limitation on this is that you can only currently create square videos and you can't use pre-recorded videos or videos that you've created elsewhere to get those captions in. This is only ones that you record live in the app. The next app, which again is iPhone only, but this one is a lot more powerful, is called Clippermatic. So when you open up Clippermatic down the bottom, you get to choose if you're creating a square video or a full portrait video. Now this app doesn't support widescreen videos. If we rotate it, it's not going to rotate our text. So it's only for portrait videos or for square videos. Up the top, you can set your language. You can see it's defaulted for me, English, Australian, which is perfect, but you'll wanna pick your language or your region to make sure it's right for you. Before you start recording, you'll also wanna lock down your template. So down the bottom with the T icon, if we press on that, uh, you get to choose what the text will look like when it's added to your video. So there's a few different templates on here. Let's just pick this red one here. Now you can't customize them up too much at this point, but I'm hoping that they change this a little bit in the future. The other option you've got is to add some filters to your recording. So you can see that little magic wand there. If we press on that, then we can add some filters on here. So let's just pick one of these ones here. That'll do for this video. Then all we need to do is press the record button and start talking and it's going to transcribe what we're saying. So if I press the record button now, we can do a test video. Hey, my name's Justin Brown. I'm just testing out some captions or subtitle apps on iOS and Android. This one is iOS only. So once your recording's done, you can press play to test it out. Hey, my name's Justin Brown. I'm just testing out some captions or subtitle apps 
on iOS and Android. And you can see down the bottom, you've also got the ability to trim your video down or just the start time and the end time. So we might start about there and we probably finish it right after I finish talking, probably around here somewhere. And once you're done with that, you just hit save in the top corner. Now, one important thing to know with this app is that you currently can't make any changes to the text once you've recorded it. So if it's misunderstood what you've said and it's typed out the wrong word, there's no way to go and change it at this point. And the last app that I wanna show you is called AutoCap. It's an Android app, and it's probably the most powerful captions app right now across iOS and Android. So when you open up the app, you either get to select an existing video or a pre-recorded video or a video that you've created in another app or on your computer, or you can hit the camera button and you can record your video live in the app as well. Now I could hit the camera button and record a video in the app here, but in this case, I'm gonna choose select video and I'm gonna pick a video that I just recorded. You can see it's asking for the language that's used in the video. It's obviously English, I'm gonna hit next. It'll go through then and it'll analyze the video and transcribe it for us. So if I play this through now. Hey, my name is Justin Brown. I'm just testing out this app to see how good the text subtitles are. Hope you're having an awesome day. So you can see it's done a pretty good job. Obviously there's some punctuation or some capitalizations of some of the words that aren't in there, but you get the ability to come in here and to make changes to this. So if we wanted to make high a capitals, we can select the word high, hit the yellow edit button, and we can change the text here. Hi, let's put a comma, my name is Justin. And we hit done in the top and that setting is applied. Now you can also see with the text on each one of these lines, there's actually a word that is underlined and that's the text that is brought up bold or yellow in this case. We can customize all of this up. We can either remove the highlighted word or we can highlight more words. So we can just select on that. We can press the highlighter there to turn that off on that word. Let's just say we want the word testing. We'll select testing and press the highlighter. Now testing is going to be highlighted. Brown, I'm just testing out. So you can see the testing is highlighted now. Obviously, if you don't want any of them highlighted, you can go through and turn those off, select them and press the highlight button. Now you can also customize up the text in regards to the line spacing. So if you wanna break up some of your sentences, like we've got this last one here, hope you're having an awesome day. We could have, hope you're having, and then an awesome day on the next line. So if we select the word N and then press the green button, then that's gonna create a line break or a new title at that point. We can also adjust how long our titles are displayed on screen. So if we select our title and then hit the blue settings button, then up the top, we've got these little handles here to adjust how long this title is displayed on screen or at what point in the video it actually comes on and goes off. Now, if we back out of this now, the other thing that you can do is customize how these titles look either globally for the entire video or manually line by line if you'd like to. So let's go back to this first one. So if we grab our little playback bar up under the video and drag that back to the, towards the start where we've got text on the screen. Hi, my name is Justin. Let's tap on that text in that preview window. Brown, I'm just testing out this app. I'll just pause it there. Now in here, you can see that we get the choice of the different colors of the text. So as I press the different colors, you can see that we're able to change up the colors here of our text. But if we actually want to change the text, the style or the theme of it, then we can press on where it says regular and change this up. So that's generic subtitles. I've also got typing it on, some different themes here. So you've got some basic ones, but you've also got some pretty fancy ones in there as well. So for this, we'll just go to subtitles. Now, the other thing that you can do is adjust the size of the box that the text is going to be entered into. So if we select the box at the top, you can see that we can drag it up or down to the area that we wanna have the text positioned in our video. So if we do have a template that we're using that has an area already drawn out in our video, then we can drop our text into that section of the video and it's going to appear there. When you're done, just hit done at the top. That is then applied for all of the text in our video. To save it out, just hit the save button in the top corner and hit save to gallery. Now to remove the watermark on this one, you just press the remove watermark button and that's gonna let you remove it on a single video for $2.39 per video, or you can remove them on a subscription basis for $5.99 per month. So those are the apps that you can use on iOS or Android to help you automate that process. And they've really come a long way relatively quickly.
So your next option then outside of using your video editing software or using one of those apps, option number three is to hire someone to do it for you. Now we'll put a link up in the cards to a video talking around hiring and outsourcing your video editing, but I want you to know that it's much easier than you think. This is how we do it at Primal Video and you can outsource your video editing for projects like this for as little as four to $7 an hour for an overseas editor. And that leads us straight to our fourth option, which is a totally done for you service. This is hands off. You literally send them your videos, they will reformat them, they will put in your titles and your captions and get them transcribed and everything for you. And it's actually reviewed by a real human on the way through so that you're not gonna get any typos or mistakes through in your finished video. So the platform I'm talking about is called Splashio. So with Splashio, there is a heap of pre-built templates that you can choose from to really dial in the look and feel that you want your end video to look like. You can also choose your colors and your fonts and everything to match your company or your business's branding as well. They've got a couple of different pricing options starting at four videos per month for $99 and up to 20 videos per month for $399 per month. So you can see this is really built out for businesses or for agencies or people that are doing a heap of content that really wanna be hands off but know that there's not gonna be any typos or mistakes in their end product. They have a 48 hour turnaround for your completed videos on business days and they also provide the SRT file or the subtitles file for when you're uploading your video to YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else. So we've used Splashio a couple of times now and they've been great and they've come in much faster than the 48 hour turnaround time. And if you're interested in trying them out, then they do have a seven day free trial. Again, links are in the description below. So for us at Primal Video, we actually use a mix of a few of these different options depending on the content that we are creating. If we just wanna create some captions or subtitles for Instagram stories, then I'm gonna use either Clipomatic, the iOS app, or AutoCap on Android to do those quickly and easily. If we're wanting to create something more polished for our Instagram feed or for our Facebook page, then that's where we'll use rev.com to transcribe our videos and then we'll bring them into either Adobe Premiere or Final Cut showing you the method in option one. So as for which one is going to be the best method for you, again, it's gonna come down to the content that you're creating and which one of those methods best suits the outcome that you're looking for. If you want the most amount of control, it's going to be option one and bringing in those SRT files, the subtitle files into your editing software and getting your titles customized up that way. If it's quick captions, for things like Instagram or Facebook posts, then maybe those apps are gonna do everything you need. Or if you wanna be more hands-off with the process or you wanna create a lot more of these types of videos, then that's where you would look at hiring a video editor to do it for you, or you'd look at a service like Splashio to take the whole thing off your plate. Okay, I was just about to hit upload on this video and we were introduced to another offering for this or another, another service that does this. And I really think that's part of the times or a sign of the times is that this stuff is changing so fast and a lot of people are recognizing that this is a problem. A lot of people want this, but it's a lot harder than it looks to get your titles in. So this one that I wanna mention now is called Quick. Now this is currently out in beta, but in my experience, this works really, really well. It will currently work on Android, on iPhone and it also works on the desktop as well. But obviously you will need to sign up for their beta to get access to this right now. So what you do is you upload your video to their platform. It'll go ahead and it'll automatically transcribe your video and it will add the captions in for you. Now currently there isn't a heap of customization with this, but so far I was blown away with how easy it is, how fast it works, but also the accuracy. In the four or five videos that I've thrown at this thing, I haven't had to make any changes at all. So it's pretty damn awesome. So it wouldn't have been right for me to release the video in its current state without giving these guys a mention because I think they will be someone to watch in this space as well. So that's how you can add captions and subtitles into your videos. Now, if you are interested in outsourcing your video editing, which was something that even as a video guy, I didn't think was going to be possible, but has been an absolute game changer for our business, then check out the video linked on screen all around how to hire a video editor. And I'll see you soon.